All right, uh, this next one is called At Sharing Time in Mrs. Cook's Fourth Grade Classroom, 1961. And this is a true story. He was a fat kid, freckles and red hair. I can't recall his name. One morning when our class had sharing time, he waved his hand and said, his face beaming, my dad told me the Russians have a new bomb. It is called the gold dust bomb. They just need to drop one, just one out on our country's edge, and then the radiation will spread out and kill everybody. And in wonderment, he said, isn't that cool? <laughs> he spoke into the horror silence that stilled us all, the secession of our breath the helpless fear that fell across our hearts like death that would descend from isotopes, a fallout in the wind filtering east to west, a curtain spreading, bringing doom from New York to L.A., taking us all, a nation, to our graves. Isn't that cool, he beamed, eyes lit with joy. Our teacher said, I've heard about that, yes, and it's awful. Then afterward, the kid sat with closed eyes, lost, nestled in some private ecstasy, some dream, and all the while sat whispering, that is so cool, so cool. Isn't that cool? Uh, all right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and this last one, I hope with a little more humor, is called uh, Reading Advice on Writing from Ernest Hemingway. You like his advice because he was tough, a hunter, a deep sea fisher, one who had seen war, not some namby-pamby academic who sat behind his desk all his days and only imagined what killing, sex, and getting drunk were like. And you're dazzled by the way he made his words come out. He has amazed you many times with phrases clear as water in the trout streams where he fished, pure as the good rum he used to drink in Cuba and Key West. So when he says, write one story about each thing you know, you start composing about a man who can repair guitars. And there's a beautiful woman with a tragic past who brings her Martin Dreadnought, D-18 Dreadnought, to you because it makes a buzzing sound when strummed. You repair it. She repairs your damaged soul, and you repair hers too. Then she dies. You still have the guitar. Thank you. Oh,